Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This one's a video game once again, and today I'm going to be doing my reaction to uh, the Duke of Death and His Maid English dub episode 6. So let's just jump straight into it here. Got nothing to say at the beginning. Mainly because whenever I. A lot of times when I do, it's like theorizing and stuff, but I already know what's going to happen, so there's nothing really for me to theorize. Um. We're getting closer though, to that big episode 8, which is my favorite episode in the series. Um, but anyways though, episode will begin in 3, 2, 1, go. Try to imagine, if you would, a life in which you could never embrace the one you love and never once feel their skin against you. He takes the life's breath out of anything he touches, and that was the curse the witch so cruelly inflicted upon him. Plants, animals, and people are no exception, of course. Regarding her son, doomed to live his life without knowing the warmth of another, his mother only complained. The child is like death incarnate, she said. This actually occurred to me earlier, but something about your maid uniform bothers me. Would you care to have a closer look? <laughs> I can see it far from here, thanks. What I was trying to say is that your shoulders and such are too exposed, and it's not appropriate. Can't you wear something normal? Normal? You mean like this? No, that's too sexy in its own right. And what's with the picture boards? <laughs> Come on, no uh. Tomorrow I won't wear anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Since it's cold out, I thought I'd do something. Oh, that was good. <laughs> but the place is an utter mess. I think we should use these. Yeah. Don't encourage her. She probably would. If she thinks it'll entertain you, she probably would. Okay. I mean, that's kind of just the inanime trope in general. You know. Women can pull literally anything out of their tits. Some anime take it to more extremes than others, of course. And of course, there's also an anime trope that the characters within the anime don't recognize it's a trope. You know, even if anime exists in that universe. I also really like how... We can touch the same objects and be fine. surprisingly complex like the uh, rules for this curse are comes in contact with that. At, as, as like a magic system essentially so yeah he doesn't want to he's doing everything he can to not suffer because of this curse it makes him really likable you know, I mean, obviously Alice is a big reason for that because, well, reasons we'll get to in episode eight. Uh, yeah, she basically pulled him out of deep, deep depression when she came to live with him. But no, I'm sure by then, mother. Yeah, he's really freaking likable. Oh. Hmm. Uh, another scene over here, which are always really awkward, and I'm pretty sure that is the intention. What have you been up to? I've been going over to a friend's house. As an aristocrat's daughter, you must take care to behave at all times. Once again, the scene ended as quickly as it began. Yeah, the scenes at the main estate don't ever really last very long. Frustrating. I can't sleep. <laughs> Alice? Alice, are you all right? Oh, evening, Grace. Forgive me. I was just taking a shower. 
<laughs> You're great. Lord, I saw nothing. Just humor me and wear this, even though I know it's big. It's what we have. Oh, it smells like you, Your Grace. Excellent. Good to know. Let's get moving. Kind of hard looking for a black cat in the dark like this. It's one of the many mysteries of anime. How does that thing stay over her boobs when when uh, there's nothing there holding it in place? It's one of the many mysteries of anime. And it's in the perfect position too. Where you know it stays over her boobs, but it's still uh, it, like a lot of her cleavage is still showing. <laughs> must be chilly though. Why don't you take another shower before you go to bed? All right. Would you care to join me? Inappropriate! Well, in that case, I'll return your jacket. No, no, tomorrow will work fine! Anyway, I guess I'll see you then! I really like Duke's voice. There are times when it does, like... The worst moment of the day. There are times when it cracks, though, and I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Uh, if it was intentional, then I... It wouldn't necessarily be... a bad thing because he is supposed to be like really really timid because of his mainly because of his curse and because he's still a teenager um but i'm not sure if that's intentional or not it's kind of annoying when that happens the gatherings are indeed frightening but relax i'll see to it that you're safe alice what about me yeah, zane reminds me a lot of sanji from I one wonder, piece like why are the two of them willing to help me like this if the others found out they brought humans to the witch's south, their own standing would be compromised. Go out of his way to protect beautiful women. All right, looks like we can use this to get there. And probably only the beautiful the ones, to be clear. Done. But doesn't give a put those on. Doesn't give a damn about other men. Would probably just let them die. We'll claim you're my younger <laughs> brother and sister. Easy. <laughs> Sex, you're just trying to remain calm if you can. My goodness, are you all right? <laughs> I wonder if she's here. Could the witch who cursed me be nearby at this very moment? <laughs> Sorry, mister. Could you grab that? <laughs> I've never seen you before. Oh dear. I think his grace has literally frozen in terror. Hang in there. This certainly doesn't bode well. <sighs> has everyone arrived? Anyone missing? Please do the honors. All right. Bell. Some run of the mill witch could ever cast. I would suggest that you stop wasting time and just give up. Hell, the cot! What'd you do that for? Be careful, Your Grace, without your robe on. Wow, what a bitch. She just completely exposed Duke entirely. Actually, I just thought I haven't thought of this before, but I just did. With how many like how much like Halloween imagery that there is in this uh, series, like classic, uh, like classic horror imagery. I'm surprised the series didn't air in fall last year instead of uh, instead of summer. You know, for Halloween, it would have started in October. Sorry, you did this for me. 
I don't know how to... I saw you going all out for someone else's sake. I know that's when I decided we'd be friends. <laughs> I feel the same way. I hope that you and Zane and I can all be friends. Are you sure? Uh, this is actually relaxing. Yeah. The next time we <sighs> hang out as buds. See ya. So long, sweet Alice. So many wholesome moments in the series. Eh. Uh, Duke being this happy is so goddamn wholesome. Seeing you this happy makes me happy too, your grace. I don't know what will become of my curse, but I feel confident that I'll get to the truth of the matter. Thank you for sticking with me through everything, Alice. I hope that you always will. Of course, we'll break the curse no more. <laughs> it's tough not being able to touch the one you love. Have I mentioned that? Yes, and I agree. And that's it. Okay. So, once again, fantastic episode. Uh, moving the plot forward. I like this. This series is really good. But, like, do, you know, maybe doing an episode here or there that's mainly just... You know, the trademark humor of the series, the rom-com stuff, basically. But then it's, but it still progresses the plot forward. Like, granted, we haven't learned how to break the curse yet, or even who the witch exactly is that broke, or was, rather, that cursed him. Well, we still learn some stuff at the witch's Sabbath. We learn that the witch who cursed him was a really powerful witch, and... Most witches probably aren't going to be able to break the curse. And on top of that, we also learned that she's dead. So they can't, like, force her to break it either, try, or try and request she break it or try to force her to break it or anything like that. Because she's dead. Which complicates things greatly. So, yeah. So, so even though we aren't really that like, incredibly closer... To breaking the curse, we've still learned some stuff, which means that the plot has still progressed, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's really good, and I, I really love how the way this series is able to balance that. And even though the uh, And even when the plot is progressing, the series is still able to integrate its trademark rom-com style humor. Okay, which is some of the best in that regard that I've seen in a long time. Okay. So anyways, though. That, that pretty much does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Hit the notification bell if you want to whenever I upload a new video because I release new videos all the time. Share around other places on the internet such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Try to help get it and my channel more attention. And like always, comment on the video down below because I help my channel out. Let me know your thoughts on this video and on, the, on, and on this episode and on the series as a whole. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.